day. Today, I'm going to share with you my worst experience ever in teaching a group ballroom dance class. Uh, so, like any other career, we have bad days as professionals. Um, and what creates a, a bad work experience for us? Stress just like any other job. And yes, some group classes have proven to be more stressful than others, hence unpleasant. And I have two um, that I can think of, um, which are my very worst group classes I've ever taught, and I'm gonna share those experiences with you today. Okay, so number one, this was a group dance class I taught. It was not in my own studio, but it was for a local dance club. That club has since gone under. That happened years ago. So um, if there's any local dance studio owners or clubs from my area that are thinking I'm talking about you, I am not. This, this club is long gone. But um, I did teach a lesson there as their pre-dance lesson, which I've taught many, many of these not a problem. Anyway, today was a little different. Um, there was a very vocal individual in this class um, who insisted that I was teaching this incorrectly. And the dance that I was teaching was a beginning quick step. And I knew the person that he took lessons with in town who was not a ballroom dancer, who specialized in Latin and really knew nothing about standard. But anyway, um, he kept on yelling and interrupting me as I taught to tell me that every step should be inside of partner instead of outside. Now, if you've taken a beginning level one, beginning level quick step class, you know this is the correct footwork. And it's not up for debate. This is in the ISTD book. It's a bronze step. There's no two ways about it. Even an open quick step, I would always take these steps outside of partner. And uh, <laughs> I am not one to say anything bad about anyone else, even if it's true. Certainly not another professional in my town. I just think that's very poor business. That's not good as a, an individual. You don't want to talk badly about people behind their backs. If you have something bad to say about them, you should definitely say it to their face. And I certainly want would not want people to talk trash about me behind my back because there's always an agenda there and it would make me look shady. So anyway, I didn't want to say, I'm sorry, go look at the book. Your pro is wrong take another look at it. So I just kept on saying to be kind and not embarrass this person or this professional in front of this, you know, group of 50 other people in town and your, your pros and idiot. Um, I was like, well, you know, dancing is an art and there's more than one way to skin a cat. And I was just being so gentle around what was actually going on because I didn't want to embarrass this person. But uh, he just kept on blurting out, yelling over me in front of the whole class that I was wrong and this isn't how you do it. Um, and it, it was so uncomfortable for me. Um, and I never did stand up to defend myself or to, to point out that this person was 100% wrong. Look it up in a book. Um, this is an ABC of quick step. But anyway, um, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible group class experience. Um, okay, so my second um, really stressful, dislike, bad group class experience, this happened to me repeatedly. Um, I used to, especially early on in my career, teach a ton of beginning group class lessons because when you turn pro, um, even if you're very accomplished, you don't start out with really any clientele you have to build from scratch. And certainly there are some accomplished dancers that will immediately take from you if you are accomplished, but they'll just sign up for privates. You know, really elite level competitors are not going to show up to any group class because they really want custom tailored information. So on my website, I would always make crystal clear if you're taking a group class, unless it specifies in the class title, you are expected to rotate partners. 
I do not make people rotate partners, but if you choose not to, you need to stand at the very edge. You need to warn me before class starts so I don't get confused when assigning the group class rotation. And most importantly, you need to rotate so that you can keep up with everyone else in the class. And unfortunately, when people start out dancing, they tend to be quite insecure and they don't want to rotate. They just want to dance with their one partner. And 100% of the time in group classes, I have seen this hinder people's progress. Now, I'm not talking about private lessons. Certainly, you're going to grow the fastest if you take privates, period. But in a group class setting where I have to kind of make a synopsis of the room, generalize, look at the middle of the bell curve, teach to the median, um, it benefits you as a student to rotate. Um, and certainly anyone that calls in advance for one of these beginner school classes, I would always specify, okay, just so you know what to expect. If you are coming with a partner, you'll need to rotate or you will not be able to keep up with the class. And if you choose not to rotate, that's fine. Just let me know. And you need to be fairly warned that you will not be able to keep up. And I don't want you to be upset with me or complain or ask too many questions that slows the rest of the class down. But inevitably, people would stumble upon me, I'm guessing through my website, and choose to ignore um, that they really need to rotate partners to keep up. Or they just weren't reading the entire page and they just showed up and never bothered to call and ask any questions, which is fine. They're not required to. Um, I've never required a pre-registration. People are always welcome to drop in. Um, but when they would drop in, I would say, when well, as soon as they walked in, hey, just so you know, you know, you don't have to rotate, but I highly, highly, highly encourage you to. Um, and inevitably, the couples that showed up and refused to rotate that um, did not have that conversation for, for whatever reason with me, um, especially if they show up late to their first class and they refuse to rotate, um, they would get so angry in the middle of class and, at, and frustrated at not being able to keep up that they would walk out in the middle of class. And this to me as a professional is horrible, creates a great deal of stress. I'm embarrassed in front of the other students. I'm embarrassed for that couple. Um, I feel extraordinarily disappointed that I have not created a positive learning experience for you. When ultimately it was not my fault, you should have listened to my suggestions. As a teacher, I'm not telling you to rotate just because I like to make people uncomfortable. Just because some people show up without partners, there is absolutely a functional benefit. And those have been um, very challenging um, when I've taught beginners group classes and people refuse to rotate. I just, um, they never keep up and they leave frustrated and disappointed and not really learning as much as everyone else. So that is what creates my second um, kind of bad group class experience. So I hope that's been helpful to you and interesting. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye guys.